343 here today and I am doing a review on the Mega Constructs Halo 10 year anniversary set, uh, May, well, Warthog Run. Uh, 318 pieces, I, I love this game. I loved Halo 3 most of all, uh, my favorite. I gotta say it was like at its peak and then Halo 4 came along and then it kind of just went downhill from there. I hope Halo Infinity is the redeemer and, uh, Halo gets back to where it was before Halo 5. Uh, I, I don't... Halo 4, like, the way the armor armor changed from Halo 3 to 4, and he didn't even leave the pod for 4 years, so... That's something I didn't like, but hey, it's their own style, so... I'll let it not fly. So, the characters we have today are... The, um, Master Chief... Ooh, I think is extremely neat looking. Um, the Arbiter, Halo 3 edition, and two Hunters, which I think are the newer versions, but hey, not gonna complain. They, they still look cool. Um, I'll get back onto them later. But first, we have the Master Chief, who comes with a Golden Flamethrower, which I find pretty neat. As some people call it, Champagne Gold. And then this very nice, darker... It's not as bright as it shows in the camera, I have like a flashlight, even though it's bright in the room, it wasn't bright enough for this, so. Uh, it's more of a darker color, like, kind of like that, like on that left, the left leg, more darker like that. Um, I'd say it's more like an olive, but in this it's a very bright green due to the flashlight. Mm. But so that's it for the Master Chief, who I think is extremely well detailed. He has the uh, visor details and everything. Yeah. So next up is the Arbiter. Oh, there goes a Hunter. Stay. Okay, that's it. Okay. So the Arbiter, um, hmm. he's good. Um, I've never had the Arbiter in any of my sets. But, I wish they used a different skin tone for his head. That skin tone, I'm not a big fan of. It's very bright. It's like a grayish tan, which I'm not a fan of. But the carbine, oh, I missed the carbine. I never used it much, but I've heard it's extremely good. And also, I used it, when I did use it, it was fun to hit grunts with. In Halo 3, we'd uh, shoot each other or shoot the, the teammates, and then they turn against us. Or, well, more like we turn against them. Um, I like the gold color that they gave him, uh, just like in the game. Uh, he was either, like, a bronze or brass to gold. So, um, he was not silver. He was silver in Halo 2, as I recall. And then we have the Hunters, which are, like, the biggest feature in the set, because not many sets have them. Now, it's pretty neat that they added these, but it would have been be I think it would have been better if they added Flood, because the Flood were the main enemy in the, uh, in this mission. They were everywhere. No matter where you were, there was Flood Infection forms, Flood Combat, Flood Pure forms, uh, Carrier forms, and all these different things. Um, they are pretty neat. Uh, I wish they made it so that the head could move around, but hey, I'm not gonna whine. It's a hunter. Uh, they are already very big, so that would have been more stuff to put together. But, uh, size comparison, though, compared to all the other figures. So, I compared it to Lego characters. One moment, I'll get a Lego guy. So, here's a Lego Star Wars First Order Stormtrooper ATAT uh, guy. And right next to Master Chief, he is short. He's up to, like, Chief's, not even the Chief's sh shoulder. And then we have the Hunter, who is just ginormous. He is almost twice the size of the Master Chief, and probably three times the size of a Lego character. I mean, like, look at this, guys. I mean, look at that. It's huge. So, I really do like these Hunters, and these extremely tall even compared to like the Elites, which are even taller than the Master Chief at their highest pose, but yeah. Um, so I'll get that Lego guy over here. Now the Warthog by Hunter. 
you guys can all go over to the corner. Corner. There. Um, so, this Warthog is extremely neat. I like it. It's the first Warthog I've ever bought. Yeah. Um, I've bought Mongoose. We've had Banshee, a Banshee before, like an extremely old one with the Red Pilot Elite, I think it was called. Uh, don't remember. It's been years now. Um, it comes with suspension, which I find extremely neat. I'm pretty sure they've been doing this for a while now, but first one I've had was suspension. Something I don't like about the set is how the suspension is. It just kind of droops, drops down um, to the bottom. And then just a little push, just pushes it down completely. Just like a tap. Yeah. So, that, that's something they could have fixed. Uh, the color scheme is perfect. It has all... It has printed scratches on it. Uh, though, no, those were not me. Not this time. Um, and then it has some consoles in here, which give it more realism. There we go. I, thought, I was trying to think of the word. This is like take eight, because the seven and six uh, both ran out of storage. So I gotta do this quickly. Uh, something I find interesting is this copper, which kind of stands out, but in a good way. It's not like, oh, that's ugly looking. It's actually, like, pretty nice looking. Also, if you haven't noticed, everything has, like, metal, metallic flakes in it. Which I find kind of neat, see? So, that's pretty neat. Um, it has little holders to hold guns and weapons. It comes with the antenna. Um, something I don't see enough of is the transport warthog, but you can really just use this warthog as a transport. If you just take off the turret, one moment. So, yeah, see? You can just kind of use it as a transport as well if you just take off the turret. So, now you got a troop carrier, kind of. You can put more guys back here, one or two. Maybe put one at that corner, not this one because of the antenna in the way. But, uh, so it could... If you take off the turret, you can hold up to four, but normally it holds up to three. Uh, you can possibly fit five without the turret if you just put a guy at that corner. Don't know if you want to, but hey, yeah. It can fit more. Or if you want to have, like, a fit a guy up here, just gang. Like, get by the warthog. Just, like, flat. Flatten it on top of it. Um. So, that is the Halo Con Mega Constructs 10th Year Anniversary Edition Warthog. Which I love. I honestly like the set. Um. I'm pretty sure I said this before, but I've made this... I've done takes on this so many times that I don't even remember. But uh, I wish they kind of added a uh, flood, but... Hey, it's a hunter. I've never had hunters before. I've had very few uh, Mega Construct sex sets. Yeah, I'm saying things wrong. Sets. And so I've had, like, probably only, like, six or seven of these set types of sets. And then, like, probably, like, 20 or 30 LEGO Star Wars sets. Including it, the First Order AG, AG. So, guys, make sure you guys comment and subscribe. I've known this that um, almost all of the people who watch are not subscribed. So, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button. You can hit the bell if you want to. Um, you don't need to. I honestly don't care. Just if you subscribe, just check in every once in a while, I guess. Or you could hit the bell if you want. Um, I don't care if you hit the bell. But, so, please comment and, sub and subscribe. I'm going so fast I can't even speak right. Um, comment and subscribe and smash the like button as hard as you can. If you, um, if you break the device, uh, that's your problem. Not mine. Um, just a warning. Don't hit that hard. So, um, box is pretty neat. 318 pieces. Pro Builders, 8 and older. Warhog Run. Uh, guys, thank you for watching. Um... This is going to be it for the video. Up next is going to be a mock, so make sure you guys subscribe. It helps the channel. Uh, like the video if you like it, so I can know to do more make constructs and reviews and stuff like that. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.